Now, how long have you prepped for this year? Because I know you didn't start a week ago. So how long does it take to get this um, together? Like we start in March. So like as an example, like back in March, I would have started curating with my partners at Universe Studios Orlando Resort, um, curating 2024. So it's more than a year. And we always look forward to seeing what is highlighted here. Sometimes you have some of the classic mazes, some are brand new. What are the new mazes that are rolling out this year? One of the most exciting ones is The Last of Us. Um, we've never done a haunted house based exclusively on a video game. Um, and this is the first time and we're doing it with Neil Druckmann, the guy who created the video game and his talented team at Naughty Dog. Uh, and they were very, very involved in the creative development of this whole process. Um, so I'm really excited for our fans to experience that. Now we've seen Jamie Lee Curtis here. I know some of the kids from uh, Stranger Things got to see their maze. What do the celebrities say when they see their face on some of the, you know, some of the mazes? It's got to be surreal, you know. Um, and that's one of the things we we do with our performers that we call scare actors, characters. Um, we, we psych them up on a night like tonight because you, you you look around and the representation from the horror community is amazing. So I'm like, the guy who created this is going to be coming through the house, scare the living daylights out of him. That's the goal. But it's it just in talking with celebrities over the years, it's, it is a little surreal for them. They're like, hey, that's me coming at me with an axe, you know? Now, is there anyone that has come to you and said, why haven't you done our movie yet? Or vice versa, is there like a movie or a franchise you absolutely hope to capture here one year? You know, it's funny, when I started doing this uh, 18 years ago, uh, I had this whole list of things I wanted to do, and I, and I did them all. Um, but I'm always amazed because th these days that is how things happen. People come to us uh, through connections or just a chance meeting. Oftentimes at Horror Nights, I'll meet somebody at opening night and we'll start talking about something that materializes a year or two years later. So it's, it's pretty cool. A lot of people want to be part of this event. Now, why does the general public have to come out? Why is this year like the year? If they haven't been before, why is this the year to come out? I think what we're trying to do, and it's what we always try to do, but I think this year in particular, we're just trying to step everything we do to another level, um, particularly in special effects. Uh, we talked about Chucky a little bit. I mean, you can't really cast Chucky. He's this big, you know? So we're working with the, the folks, our mechanical engineers here at the theme park. This was all done in-house with that team. Uh, they helped us bring Chucky to life. There's like 18 fully articulated Chucky animatronics in that house and a few surprises. And then what, uh, the, you talked about the actors, the scare actors, what is that process like to go through that? Cause they're so on top. Of yeah, we, we start with a big, you know, massive audition um, where we try to teach them just the basics of scaring. Um, and then um, once they're onboarded, uh, we do something called Scare Academy and it's a long event. Um, but I always come down and I take all of our performers through every single aspect of what we're doing um, because they're one part of a very, very large, you know, event and, and every single piece of them are extremely valuable, every single character. So we want to um, imbue them with the passion that we have for this event. And then we start training them. Um, and, and the people that I do that with are former characters, people who came up, you know, um, being characters for us and now are part of our creative team. Um, and, and they know it better than anyone, including myself. So it's, it's great to have like, you know, over the years kind of developed all these people and now they get to be part of this event. Finally, favorite horror franchise? Uh, Universal Classic Monsters always has been and always will be. Thanks so much. We're excited to go through, check this out, and uh, everybody has to come out. Thanks, yeah, come out to Halloween Horror Nights. We'll see you back next year. Absolutely. <laughs>